Here, yes, Mark. Is it open for discussion? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've had Mark Ovid to five three Blanche. Um, you know, Newfound is a nice idea. I hope it. Uh, it. I haven't had a chance to review the plans, so we have a fountain now that happened to be pretty pretty well used and it's and it's a nice fountain that everybody likes it happens to be exactly the right height because it keeps out very small kids but it's high enough that older kids can jump up on it also adults it's in the perfect location because it's not in the way of all the special events it's not a fancy fountain but people like it so to me I'm I'm wondering why you know there were all these plans to redevelop the park before you know why are we going forward on a new fountain and I know the Wilcox family foundation wants to put a plaque somewhere they've been itching to do that for years it's too bad that we can't direct that money towards things that people are really wanting because there's no groundswell of of residents saying boy we really need a new fountain I haven't seen any groups of people coming here saying, you know, boy, this city really needs a new fountain. The one thing we really need is a new fountain. You don't hear that. People like it a lot. They like it where it is, and the surveys have said people like Kellogg Park where it, the way it is as well. They don't want fancy walls. They don't want big edifices, stone pillars, uh, you know, whatever else you can think of. Um, by the way, as a, I used to be involved with special events, and I saw a lot of parks ruined by those kinds of, those kinds of improvements. No, most notable, Shane Park in uh, downtown Birmingham. They used to have a lot of events there. They revamped the park. They put a fountain in the middle of it. Can't do nothing there anymore. There's just no way to have most of the special events that they used to have, concerts and things like that. So I guess I'm just saying, <clears throat> I like to see uh, things move ahead when they're driven by the citizens, when they're asked for, such as the quiet zones we talked about before. Still a lot of interest in that, uh, such as the entrance to, uh, to Heinz Park connections to our city, things of that nature that people have asked for many years uh, be the driver for improvements like that. And when we have this kind of money available, a million dollars, wow, what could we do with that? especially nobody's asking for a new fountain so new fountain fine if you do it right do it exactly the way it is now so people can't you know little kids can't get in it's going to be safe fine but why spend that kind of money obviously the wilcox foundation wanted to do something that's fine but maybe we could have directed them you know towards some of the other things we have we have park right across the street as one of our things that could use a whole lot of money uh, there's so many other things like that so I'm glad to hear of it, but I think it's a big waste. So, Thank you, Mark. Are there any other citizen comments on the phone? And just for uh, clarification, just for all to hear, it'll have the same footprint. It'll be in the same location. And uh, yeah, we've been having conversations around this topic and heard from a lot, a lot of people over many years that are pretty excited for the project. So um, there'll always be differing opinions on it, but. There's a lot of people that are really excited, myself included. So I'm, I'm uh, eagerly anticipating. Uh, I never want to wish time away, but I'm eagerly anticipating uh, mid-July. So, what do you mean? Hi, Ellen. Hi. I want Elliot. Where's the report? I just want.